Alrighty then, so this is vocals and keys. So here we are inside of uh, Ableton Live. Um, this is going to be a new experience for me. I haven't done it like this before. Check, 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 check. Okay, good. Have that armed. And it doesn't look like you can arm both of these at the same time. That's weird. Oh, it's not. It's Ableton. Okay. So maybe if I were to go ahead and hit record. It wasn't very loud, was it? Uh, oh, stop. Uh, I want to get rid of that and start over. So. Okay, so I'm going to hit record again and try this. So here we go. Okay, stop. Oops, so that I can listen. This one. Okay, let's see now. Let's go ahead and bring this up. So I'm going to go back to that view and then hit record and see what happens. Looks like Ableton does not allow you to do both at the same time. Um, I know Reaper does, so I'm going to try to take a look at that. So I'm going to go ahead and close Ableton. No, we don't want to save changes. Yeah, delete the temporaries. Thank you. Reaper. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So let me, okay. All right, and now inside of Reaper. We'll go ahead and We'll add a new track, and we'll just call this Vocal Test. So what I've done, I've gone ahead and set up what we have here. So this is the type of cable that is used by the, the M-Audio key station. So here's your, your regular USB, and come on, focus. There we go. Regular USB port, uh, <laughs> cable. And then it's, it's a USB type B, so here we have the, uh, the other end. So this is usually what you'd see on a printer. And so with that, we can, it allows this controller to send MIDI signals to and from the computer. Like I said before, I don't have a keyboard to uh, demonstrate this on, so 
Um, I'm going to demonstrate the MIDI way because I don't have uh, audio uh, key, uh, keys with audio in them at this moment. So this, um, just in case you didn't realize, does not have any sounds in it. It uses sounds off of the computer. So let's see. Uh, I'll just call this test. Okay, and that is on for recording. You can see the levels are moving up and down. And we'll come over here and we will say, uh, is there a virtual instrument? And of course, I'm going to pull up my favorite, the Sonovox 88 Ensemble. I'm going to wait for it. There it is, and wait for the plug-in to load. Come on. Oh, it's already loaded and waiting for me. Okay, excellent. If I want a little more volume out of this, I'm going to grab one of my presets. Where did I put my effects chains? Good levels. La 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 la. Okay, I'll well, just make sure. So, vocal's a little bit loud. Let's turn the vocal down. There we go. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit record. So what I've, I've gone ahead and armed both tracks. So um, now let's just pick something in the key of C just for the kicks here. serves as a good test so go ahead and stop go ahead and save that and zoom out so we can see and we'll listen back now I went ahead and used the uh, miking uh, techniques I mentioned before so well not really a technique microphones plugged in here let's uh, take a look at the microphone which has been out of frame trusty blue baby bottle this has been a really good microphone for the past oof. it's been three years now so um, really good for the price it, it used to run 399 now they're 239 so it's been a tremendous pri price drop but uh, 
think the quality has probably stayed the same. If I know blue microphones. Yes, mom. My PayPal is correcting. Oh, I found it in the hall bathroom. Here. Let me finish it. I know, I'm recording, I have the light on. The light smells. Okay, so let's take a listen to it, shall we? The cake's here. strings are a little bit loud. I kind of feel like this is a bit anticlimactic because uh, I was really just clicking a few uh, uh, few controls and that was it. However, I should mention if you are going to do something like this through uh, speakers like I'm just doing, I'm, I'm tracking with the, and just looking at my volume on the screen and having the uh, speakers running, you want to go to the little monitor switch, uh, direct monitor, and shut that off. Otherwise, you could start a feedback loop, and that would not be very pleasant. Okay, so let's see. Let's turn the strings down. Okay, so that's. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Now I could add, go ahead and add strings if I wanted to. Let's, let's give that a try. Um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and I want to see what I where I'm playing. So I'm gonna pull up the 88 and uh, record here. The cake's here. It does. Okay.
Well. Okay, well, that's it. <laughs> um, thanks for watching, and until next time.